Hello everyone, Relgan here and I came up with a new CVZ build. It's actually not as much a new CVZ build as it's a build that I used to play back when Nidus was really strong and back when we had maps where we could easily wall off the natural with like three roaches and greedily take up. The build I'm talking about is a Mutalisk opener in the CVC matchup that instantly transitions into a Roach Nidus all in. And we're talking a really, really greedy Mutalisk opener. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I play this build. It's also supposed to be really safe up against things like 12 pool because we o I open really, really safe. So let's see. First of all, <clears throat> usually you should go for a 16 hatch. I went for a 17 hatch uh, on, uh, on this map. Um, 16 hatch is technically better, but what's very important is that as soon as you start the hatch, you build one more drone, you drone up to 17 drones total, and you build a pool. You need the early pool in order to defend against the early pool nowadays. In like half of the games that I play, I face an early pool. I then go for, um, <clears throat> for a gas and build three more drones, completely droning up my main base. Goal of this build is to wall off my natural, wall off this area that's already walled off through mineral patches, and then drone up really greedily while showing my opponent that I'm going for a roach put. Because I can then open up the back door and still go for a roach put. I'm going to show you guys two different games, and I hope you will like it. So I have two queens um, coming out right now. I'm droning up. I built two circlings to scout. I have one overlord in this area. An overlord flying down over here so I can see which third base he takes. Of course now he's taking that third base. As soon as my first two queens were done, another queen in the main and I start my lair at the natural. I did not start link speed and I'm also opening up the back door right now. We're going to see, I think in one replay I open up the back door and in one replay I don't. If I open up the back door, meaning that's what they usually do with my open if my opponent doesn't open up the back door, I can take a third base here. However, he sadly scouts that I'm opening up my back door, so he will try to abuse that. I went for a roach warn and an evolution chamber at the front. We can go back a little bit so you can see the exact timing. I think it's around the three minute mark. Shortly after I started the lair, I go for a roach warn and evolution chamber. I have two queens down here, one more building in the main. And this one is going to inject. This one places a tumor. <clears throat> and I kind of want to wall off this area with queens, like this. I could also go for a complete wall off by placing one more evolution chamber here, which is what I think I'm going to do. The gases at my natural, I usually kind of take them whenever I get supply blocked. Um, <clears throat> my goal is to get all four gases. You want to have at least two gases by the time your lair is done, but you can also go for four gases immediately. I started the plus one missile upgrade. This is a very important upgrade to get. Um, by getting an upgrade on your evolution chamber, you show your opponent that you're either getting plus one melee, plus one carapace, or plus one missile upgrade. That means you're investing money. Your opponent cannot know what upgrade it is. If he sees an evolution chamber mo moving and a roach one moving, he will think it's a roach push. If he only sees an evolution chamber moving, he will think it's either a Ling Ravager or a Ling Push. So by showing him um, that I'm getting Glyle Reconstitution and the plus one missile upgrade, if the opponent sends out two links here, he'll be like, ah, of course, my opponent is going for, um, for a good old uh, Roach Push. But that's not what we're doing, right? I have Queens here to zone him out. And here is a big mistake that I make in this game. I had an overlord here to check when he mines this out, but I did not notice. I should put one queen here and just wall this area off. But instead, I lose my third base. Come on guys, this is a mistake. This should not happen in your games. If you open up the back door, be ready to plug the wall with a queen. I did not plug it this game, so I'm going to take damage. But I think it's important that when I show you guys replays, that it... The, and even if they're like guide replays, I don't want to show you guys the absolute best games that I play. Because we don't want to only watch games um, where my opponent completely falls over and dies. And like, oh my god, Relgan, you played it really well. What's important is that we have a look at a game like this and see that even if things don't work out as they should, 
you can I can still win the game with the strategy. So I opened up with six mutalisks this game. In the next replay that we're going to have a look at, we're going to see a different mutalisk count. Keep that in mind. We're going to see how this game develops. So there's one more uh, drone there, uh, link there. I didn't really lose too much, and my mutalisks are able to easily ward off his roach push here. Doing some cutesy micro, you can see only three roaches of his can shoot. But he has more roaches here, but my mutalisks shoot at his roaches, and only the, the front row of his roaches was able to shoot there. That was really um, kind of some kind of cutesy ma uh, micro by me. I'm retaking my third base right now. We check the worker count. I'm at 46 drones, which is a really good number to have. So <clears throat> at this point in the game, I'm obviously really far ahead. Now, you might say, well, Relgan, you're even in workers and you're slightly ahead in army supply. But if you check the army value up left here, way ahead. Because mutants are really expensive. Upgrades, yes, plus one missile. I'm all, I already have my plus two missile on the way. He did already invest in spore crawlers, which is really good for him because he needs spore crawlers to defend against the mutas. But what does spore crawlers not stop? Roaches. What is Relgan doing? After, after I finished my my um, my, after I built my mutas, I started my third, and then I started the Nidus form, and I'm only building roaches. I'm not preparing to drone up my third base. I could build drones and uh, go for a normal blah blah blah. I'm going Mutalisk into Ling Bane or whatever. But the goal of my build is I build Mutas to force Spores and Queens and Hydras of my opponent. And then I punish him by going for a lot of Roaches and immediately attacking him. He does not know anything is coming, right? He's like, oh, I'm gonna drone up. He's now up to 52 drones. He just built a round of drones. He invested. He invested money into a total of six spore crawlers, which is each spore crawler is 125 minerals, so that's a lot of money. Each spore crawler costs as much as a roach, a little bit more than a roach. Like, um, yeah. But I nidest him here. Mutalisks tried to place a nidus down here. The goal right now is first of all, deny his third base, because if I have a third base and my opponent doesn't have a third base, I'm obviously in an advantageous position. My mutalisks try to zone him out of his main. He, he has to be ready for my roaches to pop up here and to pop up in the main base. So he needs to shut down this Nidus Swarm really badly. Nidus Swarm finishes, no problem. My roaches come out here again, check. At home, I'm not really droning up right now. I'm opening the production tab. My opponent is building a lot of Hydras. Hydras are a good unit, but they are not that great against roaches. We're gonna see soon. So my mutants are still flying around. I'm looking for an for an opening where um for a way to attack my opponent. So this is the opening that I see. I'm going for a roach warren in the the front right here. Roaches are attacking him in the main base. Leave uh, leave through uh, the nidus again. Kill his roach warren. Go into that nidus worm. I didn't know that. Roaches cannot actually fit through this uh, tight gap right here. I didn't know that, so I have to uh, open that up with my <clears throat> with my drones. Now, while all this is going on, of course, I'm losing a lot of money as well. My opponent is losing more money, but the amount of money that I'm losing is nothing to laugh at. The difference is because I have the the um, a third base and he does not. It's easier for me to reinforce. As soon as he moves out through the bottom, I of course nidus him here and pressure uh, his main base again. My mutas are flying away, kiting away. This is a pretty scary point uh, in the game. But what you have to keep in mind here is if he attacks me with this army, I attack, um, my army can move from his natural to my main, to my main base really fast through the nidus. Maybe he should have uh, gone for a nidus of his own, I don't know. Either way, I sacrifice my third base, but in in return, I'm cleaning up everything he has. Right? This is all a bit messy. Um, of course, my my goal would have been, oh, I nidus him here, and then I nidus him in the main base, and I just kill him off instantly. Instead, it turned into a game where I had to clean his natural with a counter attack while he was killing my third base, and I was defending my main base. It's a very messy game, but. You can really see the advantage that uh, this build gives me over my... I'm playing a really mobile army composition. This is kind of failed by me. Gravitures are about to be caught from behind. He obviously does not have the amount of resources to back up the push and eventually falls over and dies. So 
Let's, let's quickly talk about what we saw. I opened safely by putting Queen's Roach Warden and Evolution Chamber here. Opened with a fast um, pool before gas. So I can defend against early um, Ling Brush as well. Went for a fast lair into plus one missile upgrade, into Spire, into a Roach speed upgrade. Defended his push with Mutalus. That was, it was really bad that um, that Ling run by happened. But even though the Ling run by happened, we still made it back into the game. I then Nidus across. Um, I then uh, went across the map with my Mutalus, harassed him, took out his third base with a Nidus while threatening to Nidus' his main base. Took my own third base, thrown it up ever so slightly, built a lot of roaches, constantly uh, harassed him while getting my plus two and uh, plus one upgrades. And eventually I was able to crush him. Now this was game one. I think this is uh, this game was a little bit more messy. We're going to have a look at the next game now in a second. This game is against a 6.1k MMR Zerg, so they're up there, like top 70, top 60, I think. Um, <clears throat> I'm spawning at the bottom right. We're going to see how I open this game. I'm going to try uh, this game. I'm going for a 16 hatch. That's the ideal thing you want. Like my opponent is doing the same thing. I build two more drones, get the roach warren, get the gas. Put drones in the gas. Drone, 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 drone. You can see, right? I'm going for the double queen again. I'm building drones. I sent. Uh, I'm not. I'm not even sure if. I, yeah, I did send these, these two links. I sent across the map. I see that he's building an evolution chamber, Roach Warren. I'm like, ah, oh, it's some kind of two base opener. He's going for kind of the same thing I'm doing. He's getting a lair, evolution chamber, Roach Warren. I'm getting a Roach Warren, evolution chamber, lair. So we're doing more or less the same thing right here. And my lair is done. Before I get the plus one missile upgrade this game, I'm getting the Spire. The reason for that is I felt um, I felt if I, I really that I really need to get a fast lair to punish this guy this game. Because I felt that he was going for a two base roach push and I want to mute this out as soon as I can. Once again. Mining out the, the third base a little bit later than last game this time around. I'm building one spine crawler here. Because I saw that he's I saw that he's going for evolution chamber roach one, right? This usually and on two bases, because he had no third base and this third base. Like, he's, he's going for a two base roach push, but I'm going for two base muta defense. Traditionally my build is kind is slightly worse. But I have this spine crawler here that sends his roaches away, because Elsie would have sniped the roach warren. Because I have uh, fewer roaches than, than he does, so he would have been able to do damage to me. Now my mutalisks are out, let's see. I'm going for four mutalisks this game. No more mutas, right? And he's building one spore here, two spore. He has, he has built one spore and he's building more spores right now. He's building a lot of queens, that's a lot of money invested. I'm getting the plus uh, two missile, plus one carapace upgrade. I have my third base. I'm mining a little bit of gas there. I'm at uh, 53 drones right now. That's not a drone count you should aim for. 44 drones are enough. 66 drones are possible. But it, what is important is that you have a game plan in mind. That you don't just, ah, I'm going to build some roaches. I'm going to build some drones. You want to be decisive. I decided I'm going to build drones till 53. And then I'm going to spam nothing but roaches. Why did I decide that that's the right thing? I don't really know. I had a gut feeling. <laughs> but yeah, you can see I um, have an overlord up here so I can build a Nidus. I have my roaches down here ready to pump out, to push out. I'm gonna slow down the speed a little bit so we can follow this a little bit better. Let's go back slightly. So my mutalisks are dancing around. Like, ah, oh, okay, so there's a hole here. Dropped on the Nidus. Does he actually see that? He would have been able to see that, but it's kind of hard to see, right? Like there's a lot of things, a lot of stuff uh, going on that you have on your mind at any point in game. Then he he hears the Nidus scream. Immediately Nidus at his third base. Roaches come out here. Let's look at the let's look at the income. His income is going way down. He's he's mining 500 minerals less per minute. That means it's like five six roaches less every minute that he's producing right now while this harass is going on. Now he was able to resaturate his base. My roaches are fighting. And because he built so many more drones, the drones don't really help in this fight. 
It's all uh, Roach Queen. And... Well, you can see that he's being overwhelmed. Keep in mind, we are not looking at a bad player here. This guy is uh, better than, than I am in Starcraft 2 in general. At least mechanically speaking, because he has a higher MMR. Usually if, you, if your opponent has a higher MMR at my level, they're very competent players. But I was able to, caught, to catch him off guard. He could have... If he knew that I was going for a Roach Nidus, if he shot on this Nidus, I would have tried to do damage here. But um, this game, everything is going exactly the way as I have planned, right? And now I'm here denying his mining. I'll just show you guys the income tab so you can kind of see um, the amount of damage we're dealing here. Just by denying the mining. Let's have a quick look at the unit tab. 15 Roaches against 25 and all my Roaches are at... Are at Everywhere I want them to be. He has four roaches in his main. I have my mutas here. Just uh, trying to ready up another Nidus. But he can't even beat these roaches. We're even in upgrades. And my opponent will have to cheat you out soon. As, well, you cannot really beat more roaches with fewer roaches. That down the Nidus in the main. That's still four roaches that he does not get. Uh, that he's not able to move into the fight with. Now I think right here is where we go for the killing blow. Nidus is natural. Roach is moving in. And that's it. We're able to defeat our opponent. Much cleaner game than last game. A lot di a lot different a lot of different things happened, right? I was able to greedily um grown up. Spine crawler kept me safe while here. Then mined out this place because I saw my opponent is not uh, killing uh Mining out this wall, felt really safe, took this third base, had my mutas out to deny any overlords he had, like he has no vision on the map anymore at all, and then just started bombarding him with Nidus Worm. Yeah. That's it for this build. I played this build quite some time ago as well, but I felt like I felt like it's time to like make a decent video on it where I kind of explain how how I get things going. Of course, there's there are a lot of variables that come into play, right? There's like, oh, what if we go for a Ling Bane all in? And then we wall off uh, earlier. We have, we have This build gives you all the tools you need to defend. But of course, it's not perfect. It's it's a build that is um, very much so defeatable, either by the opponent going for free edge muta or by the opponent building a lot of... Uh, a lot of roaches himself with a slightly higher drone count, but you can still make plays work and you uh, you can still make plays happen and you can still win the game. So I hope this um, little video guide of two replays helped you. I'm going to write a guide on spawning tool as well. If you like the video, video like, subscribe to Railgun, visit my Twitch screen. Thank you all for watching.